Look how open this car is. Like how we should be as humans. With open chakras, with open arms to the world, nothing but love. Welcome to Miracle Whips. I'm comedian Byron Bowers. Imagine if you could only drive one car for the rest of your life. No project car, no dailies. It's like a spouse if you're a good person. Today I get to drive a 1964 Lincoln Continental. Let's see if it's my Miracle Whip. When I turned the corner and I saw this car, man, I was like, oh my God. What Ooh, up, dude? Him! Oh! In the last episode, I got Byron what I thought for sure would be his Miracle Whip. R32 Skyline GTR, but it wasn't. So I'm on DriveShare, which is basically Airbnb for cars, and I think I found him the exact opposite of a Skyline GTR. 1964 Lincoln Continental. I dare you not to like it. The Lincoln Continental was one of the classiest cars to ever come out of D-Town, Detroit, Michigan. Man, this is dope right here. This car was liked by the highest profile celebrities, like ball alert when you came down the street. This is America, everybody doing great. Get your ass a Lincoln. It was Elvis, James Brown, JFK, the Pope. Elizabeth Taylor, Sinatra, that's right. He was like the, the first R. Kelly. See, being driven in one of these means that you was very classy, elegant, and stylish. Inside is spacious. I mean, I, I could lay down in the back. I could lay down in the front. Things that stand out about this car is the low belt line. It sits real low. Call a wheel skirt right there. These days, wheel wells, big than a motherfucker. I, I gotta check out how low it sits. Extremely low. Cause this car got some weight on it. You need a, you need a motor that big. This car is 6,000 pounds. 6,000. You know what kind of doors you have on this car? You need like this. Suicide. Door. That's dope. Even though I think this car would be very dope to drive, ah. part of me want to know what it's like to be driven in a car like this. I need a driver. Mr. Bowers. Ah. Being driven in this car, woo! This is very chill. I got my legs up. This is crazy. 1966 or 64? 65. Four. 64. Four. Yeah. You get respect in a car like this. Man, I can nap. I can stare up at the sky. I'm all over the place. I can stand up back here. Ah. It's just as comfortable as the best couch you've ever sat on before. And I sat on a lot of couch. Life is good. It's something about driven like this make you feel good about being alive. Dude, we've used like a quarter tank, I guess. Well, that hurts. <laughs> I feel like I was at my own personal parade. What's up? As I stand up in the back or as I look at people and stuff, people seem pretty chill. Most cars nowadays are tinted. They got the AC blowing. They got radios going. Everything is covered in clothes. But this car, look how open this car is. I got all the room. It's wide open, you know? Like how we should be as humans. With open chakras, with open arms to the world. Nothing but love. love What's up, ladies? Where y'all headed? Let's go to the dog park. It makes me kind of feel peaceful. So I tell James, James, take your black ass back to the office. I'm driving. Whoa! This thing is going and it's out of control. What am I driving? I see why they call it a boat. This turn is wide. Woo! Oh, whoa. The counter steer on here is crazy. When you give it some gas, it goes whichever way it want to go while you still trying to get, you're holding on for your life in this car. So I guess, I guess driving a boat isn't a bad thing if we on the water where you can make those type of mistakes. But we on the street, but just idle, just cruising. I mean, wow. It's like cruising in a new car. It's like sitting on a lazy boy. I mean, it's comfortable. Actually like a love seat when you think about it. This car right here, it's kind of an old money car. So I decided to stop in an old money neighborhood. Let the car rest. thing about the car, it's a great cruiser. You can cruise your ass off in this car. You can ride all day. Uh, the bad thing about the car, the steering. You know, whoa. It takes forever to break. To get it to stop is a beast. It's no seat belts. It's luxurious. It's fully electric. It has air conditioning. And it rides, it's a cushy, comfortable ride. You know what I mean? We got CEOs jogging down the street. It's a car you could take your mom to brunch in. But any cool chick will dig this car. If you pick a chick up in this car and she don't like it, it's not gonna work out. One night stand. No, don't one night stand. Just don't go on a date. 
But if you do go on the date, no, don't do that. But. Is this a car I could drive every day? I think I know my answer, but I still want to drive it a little bit more just to make sure. Man, when I drive this car, I get a lot of looks for women too. Huh? Donut Media is a big car thing on YouTube. Search it, look it up now. Why are you in the middle of the street? This is the first car that young black women enjoy. I didn't expect to get this many looks uh, driving this car the way I did, but the people who liked it showed a lot of love. Yo! How you doing, you good? The positive about the Lincoln to me, comfort. This is one of the most comfortable cars I've been in. I'm in a yacht on the wheel. This car is classy. It looks good. The lines on this car is perfect. It's a 20-foot car. How do you, you turn in a 20-foot car on a narrow road? 30-point turn? Sure, bring it on. Oh, this ain't gonna work at all. Oh, I hope you got time. Give me a minute. Sorry, sir. Woo! We turned. As I drive this car down the street, I start to realize it's just a beautiful day and can't be angry at nothing. Even the little stress I had is gone. Yeah, this car brings out a, a part of me that, that's more chill and relaxed, you know? Like life isn't about, you know, getting to that next thing or, you know, getting to your next goals. You know what I mean? You don't need goals in this car. There's no goals. In this car, you just, you just be, you know what I mean? You just. You just go where the wind blows, just like a boat. Is the 1964 Lincoln Continental my miracle whip? Nah, it ain't. I mean, it's an elegant car. It's meant to be laid back in. It's, it's meant to be driven in. But the genie don't give me a driver. I guess I'm gonna have to keep on looking. I know my baby out there somewhere. So I'll catch y'all next week on Miracle Whips. Thanks for Haggerty for bringing you this season of Miracle Whips. And if you already found your Miracle Whip, check out this Haggerty Insider mobile app. It gives you easy to use tools to find your Miracle Whips valuation. It lets you explore auctions you might have missed and send you notifications of auctions that's coming up so you won't miss anymore. If past and future events ain't enough, you can see current run lists and results as cars come across the block. Thanks for watching Miracle Whip. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you check out the Skyline episode R32 here. Bloop. Also, make sure you hit that fat ass subscribe button right here. Bloop, bloop. Thank you.